Can you fly your drone over your own house? It sounds like a simple question, but depending on where you live, who owns the property, and what airspace you're in, the answer can get a little complicated. Let's break it down. Hey everyone, Adam here with UAV Coach, a leading drone education company. First, here's what most people get wrong. Owning property doesn't mean you own the air above it. In the United States, the FAA controls all navigable airspace, while you, as a property owner, have rights only to the airspace you can reasonably use, like the space your house and trees occupy. That means whether you're flying over your house, your neighbors, or a park down the street, the FAA is the authority that decides how and where you can fly, not the property owner. So flying over your house really comes down to what airspace you live in. If you live in uncontrolled airspace, or Class G, you can take off and fly freely up to 400 feet above ground level, as long as you're following FAA guidelines, which like I just mentioned, would be flying below 400 feet and keeping your drone within visual line of sight. If you're in controlled airspace, like Class B, C, D, or E, you'll need airspace authorization before flying, either through Lance or by requesting approval directly from the FAA. You can check what kind of airspace you're in using free apps like Autopilot or Aloft and get Lance authorization through them as well. And if you live near an airport, you might be limited to flying only 50 feet up or not even be able to fly at all unless you get further coordination, which only Part 107 pilots can apply for. Also, if you're flying for fun, you need to complete Trust, which is a short and free exam explaining basic drone rules. If you're flying for work, you'll need to be Part 107 certified. Now, what about private property rights? Even though the FAA controls the airspace, property owners do have certain privacy and nuisance protections. So even if you can fly over your house, you can't just hover over someone else's backyard filming without permission. That could still violate privacy or harassment laws, even if it's technically legal under FAA rules. You can think of it like the FAA governs how you fly, but local and state laws can govern why you're flying and what you're recording, as long as those laws don't conflict with federal regulations. Next, let's talk about an important issue with this topic, which is HOA and neighborhood rules. If you live within a community with a homeowners association, they can't regulate airspace. Only the FAA can. But they can make rules about what happens on property they manage, like takeoff and landing. So your HOA might say no drones in the community park or no taking off from common areas. That's enforceable as a property rule, not an airspace one. But if your HOA decides you broke one of their rules, even if they're wrong, it can still become a time draining and expensive hassle to sort out. The best approach is to check your HOA's policies and when possible, let neighbors know before you fly. At the very least, it helps you avoid unnecessary complaints and who knows, your neighbors might even enjoy seeing their home from above. Also, these rules are for the United States. Please don't assume the same rules apply everywhere. Other countries like Canada and the UK have different altitude and privacy rules. So here's the main takeaway. Flying over your own house is usually fine, but the sky above your roof is still national airspace. Always check the airspace before takeoff and respect FAA rules and your neighbor's privacy. Let us know if you've ever flown above your house and if you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future drone videos. Until next time, blue skies and safe flying.